for so long So stuck in my own way So I'll enjoy this moment It's the day that the Lord has Excuse my ashy face, as y'all just saw, I just woke up, I need to go put some chapstick on. I am in a different setting today. Some of you may be like, where is she? I've never seen this background. I'm actually house sitting. This is Boo. Say hi, Boo. <laughs> He's a precious little fur baby. Look at him. He's such a ham. I'm not going to be here the whole day. I'm actually about to head out now. I will just be spending the night here for the next few days. Boo is a really, he's so sweet. Very, very affectionate. I let him sleep out here. I didn't want him sleeping up in the bed with me. So I closed the door. And sometimes if you close out cats, they start whining and meowing he wasn't doing none of that so he's a really good cat i have a drop off of another dog at 8 a.m so i'm heading back to my apartment now this apartment is decent though it's very spacious there's a lot of light that comes in it's very diy but it's quiet i honestly i would live here for real, for real. It's nice. It's a, it's modern enough. I think these are fairly new constructions. Not bad. So we are about to hop in the car and head back home. I'm trying to decide if I want to stop and get coffee or just head right back. It's seven o'clock. I'm, I'm, it's seven o'clock. No, I'm playing. <laughs> I am buy a lot of coffee shops, so I don't think it would be that hard to stop somewhere real quick. I'm also by, so y'all saw the food that I got last week. I'm right over there. But I'm not going to go today because I bought these cinnamon bagels. The same better brand that I love, I bought some bagels yesterday, so I really want to try those. So I'm not about to buy anything else. We just got groceries yesterday. All right, I'm rambling. I'm looking ashy, so I need some lotion real fast. There's a coffee shop that I like that's a little over half a mile away. <clears throat> so I'm going to head over there, pick us up some coffee. Today is the 4th of July. One of my friends, she doesn't celebrate it. How do y'all feel about the fourth? I just, the way I see it is like, hey, our ancestors built most of this country. If we want to celebrate a country that we mainly built and now are free, free legal citizens of, why not? I, I don't know. There's so much about American history that I have to learn. What I've been told about my history within this country is so whitewashed, if I'm being fully transparent. There's so much black excellence that has happened in this country that hasn't been told, or that I haven't intentionally gone after learning, I should say, because Google's right there. Like I have, I have access to the knowledge, so it's really up to me to educate myself. Can't rely on the school systems to tell me true Black American history that doesn't revolve around slavery. <laughs> Which, of course, slavery is true Black American history as well. But there's a lot of really good things that Black people have done who were not slaves or who became free and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Okay. Oh. I've definitely been running around quite a bit. I don't 
feel, I, I like it though. I feel like running around keeps me busy, I suppose. Let me see, because I have no clue how my hair looks right now. I'm just winging it. Okay. I don't need to look perfect. I just want to look... <laughs> I just want to look like, like I ain't just roll out of bed, even though I did. Hey, I'm a happily married woman. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Okay, this is this is good enough. Look at Boo. Bye, Boo. Bye, Boo. He looks like a little shadow. <laughs> So afraid to open up, so I'd rather hide Man, I'm just so grateful that I made it this far Almost thought I had to call my mama in a cup car Man, he's everything for me everything. Look who's here Miss Izzy Isn't she so cute? Look at her little bushy tail <laughs> Her pet parents just dropped her off She's the cutest little thing Say hi <laughs> She's a good girl. She's just a little excited, that's all. Ooh, there is a lot going on right now, y'all. Let me tell you. I have two dogs right now. We're at the dog park, so they're running around. I have a meeting right now with a client. It's madness. It's absolute madness right now. My husband was supposed to come with me, but he had a lot of meetings today. So I had to take them by myself. They're not bad, they just they just need training. Like, people's owners do not train them, it's wild. So I gotta train them. But this first meeting is going to be pretty straightforward. I'm gonna keep it pretty light. Where are my headphones? Hey, get off. Dirt on me, girl. Come on now. That one, she's Izzy. She loves me, boy. She loves people in general, but she loves me. Oh. All right, so I am sweating. I'm gonna pull up. No, I know. She loves me. I know, I know. Hey, Nita, it's Amber. Oh, I have it here for noon. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> No, it's fine. Did you want... Yeah, so have you been getting any of the confirmation emails? Okay, yeah. For some reason, I have no clue why, but my CRM, it's not... It's sending them, but it doesn't look like you're receiving them on your end. Okay. All right, see you soon. Yeah, she scheduled the call for noon, but she really wanted to schedule it for, for one. Right. I'm great. How are you doing? It's a lot. Right. It's good with like having a brand story is, I don't know, just something that said that was like, you know what, that this is it. Like for me, I'll give you an example. He basically insulted my intelligence, was like, do you train them on how to date signatures? And I just felt like, oh no, like this is, this is, this is the straw for me. Like. burning up at another dog park thankfully tomorrow is my last day well our last day with Callahan I have not been vlogging the way I would have liked to because these dogs have been they've been running me ragged and my period's coming I've been struggling a little bit 
We're letting him get all of his energy out because he gonna be home alone tonight. Mom and dad are going out. We've been taking him pretty much everywhere. Dog park. And it's been like 90 degrees consecutively all week. Woo! Wear your sunscreen, black folk. Don't be like my husband here. Thinking he don't need sunscreen, even though he got burnt. Wear your sunscreen. Tell me why this dog is my shadow. He literally follows me everywhere. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, he is just a puppy, so. I'm sure he'll grow out of it. I'm back home now. I got my heating pad because my period finally came. After almost two weeks of cramping, it's here. I don't know why, but my period, I'll cramp for a long time before my period actually starts. I don't know if y'all experienced that too. Today it was the worst that it's been. I think I said that already, but it's the worst that it's been. So I'm not surprised that it came today, but it's actually not as bad as it has been in the past on day one. Day one cramps are just unbearable. But I also took some painkillers this morning, so that probably helped them not be as bad too. Because I had a headache this morning. Uh, how was y'all's fourth? We didn't do anything. I didn't vlog anything either. All we did was watch the dogs. I think it's really wild as a dog owner and granted, I'm still new to Rover. I've never owned a dog. I only know a lot about dogs because I watch the dog whisperer all the time. So everything I know is from that. The 4th of July is a very crazy holiday to just leave your dogs at people's house. I didn't think about it until the 4th of July when everyone was doing the fireworks. I'm like, oh yeah, dogs don't like fireworks. I didn't even think about it. People just passing off their dogs. Thank God, I had two dogs and they did well. Hubby was able to calm them down. We put blankets over their crates. I think that really helped some of the sensory. They didn't feel as rattled up. Thank God we got through that. He's doing good though. He's doing pretty good. I think he's tired because we had him at the dog park earlier. Where's he at? You know I gotta keep an eye on him. Okay, good, he's over there. <laughs> he's behind me. <laughs> I'm like, what's he doing? Where's he at? He be trying to chew on Aaron's shoes, so I gotta keep my eyes on him. Okay, there he is. I'm here watching TV. Have y'all watched the show I Survived? Look at him. But yeah, I'm watching I Survived. I'm like obsessed with this show. I used to watch it all the time. You know he's tired, he can barely get on the couch. You can't get on? Yeah, I used to watch this show all the time on repeat. I've probably seen every single episode at least twice of this show. Look at him. I don't think we look alike. <laughs> I ran for cover. I knew behind my tent there was a clump of trees, and that's when I realized I was shot.
checking in. It is Sunday. It's been quite a day already. We helped out with the kids today with Children's Church. Today is the last day that we're going to have Callahan. His owner didn't bring him enough food, so I texted him this morning and said, your dog ran out of food, we fed him breakfast, so can you come earlier since he has no more food? And his owner said he should be able to come get him a little bit early, like a few hours earlier. Instead, because his original time was 8.30 to 10.30 p.m. pickup, but I'm like, your dog has no food. So now he said he can come at like five, between like five and six. So we're, I'm looking forward to that. I love Callahan. He's a very nice dog. He's just a lot of attention. He's young. He's a baby. He's, he's six months. But he's a lot of energy. I'm just ready to get back to having a peaceful home. <laughs> I stopped at the place I'm house sitting for just to check on Boo, make sure he's good. I cleaned up a little bit. Now we're headed to get something to eat. I'm very hungry. I forgot my water bottle, so I also feel a little dehydrated right now. So I'm looking forward to getting some food. It's been a lot today, but hey man, I'm grateful. I'm grateful to have a lot of stuff to do. I'm grateful to be proactive. So I just wanted to check in with y'all, let y'all know what I'm up to right now. It's really hot today. The church was really hot today. Thank God where we were teaching the kids at, they had AC in that particular room. But the church, the main congregational area was so hot. I'm glad we were helping out with the kids. I don't know why it's so hot in there. The building, we rent the building. It's a seven day building, so they have their service on Saturday. I know they were struggling yesterday because it was just as high yesterday too. I don't know. They need to get the AC fixed up in there. We are back at Silk City. If y'all remember last time we came here. Oh, crossing the street up. Yeah. We don't have the signal. <laughs> okay. Safety! Safety! <laughs> Come on. Don't be a Safety first! Don't be a hypocrite. Oh, you go talk about a hypocrite? <laughs> You're one to talk? Don't be a hypocrite. We're talking about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See how she talks to me? See how she talks to me, family? Whatever. Yeah. The internet gonna find you out. <laughs> Anyways, every time we come over here they've made a little bit more progress on this apartment complex would you live over here though uh, yeah. it depends. I don't know I like further up kind of in the whole thing. more than oh, okay I missed up in here Thank you. I don't know if you want to get yeah. there. Yeah, I need a new tripod. I thought about getting, there's like a tripod that's for this particular camera, but I don't think it like goes up or down. Like how this one. I can make it higher or lower. Oh, this sounds good. Almond brown butter cake with strawberries. That's what I need right now. Yeah. Okay. 
y'all Callahan is gone his dad picked him up I told the dad you need to come get your son because you didn't bring enough food he came and picked him up I felt like he was trying to put off picking that dog up because he knows how much work that dog is like that dog's a lot of work man I feel like so calm now that he's gone oh my gosh so you guys know I'm new to Rover and I'm still learning how I want to run my business with Rover. One thing that I'm going to start doing is every single booking that I get, if the person wants me to watch their dog, they have to, we have to do a meet and greet prior, like I did with my first booking with Roxy. If they don't do a meet and greet, then the price is higher. So the price is going to be much higher because people would be passing off their dogs don't tell you what's really wrong with them they just want you to watch them so I will require meet and greets moving forward I have gotten several bookings and I let all of them know we need to do a meet and greet so that's one thing I'm gonna start implementing but it, it feels like when you like send your kid off to college or something like that like <laughs> I feel like an empty nester right now I was so <laughs> I was just like hanging out with him, playing with him, and I don't know, he gets very aggressive when he's playing, like he wants to nibble at you, and I'm like, why are you trying to nibble me? And then when the owner came and picked him up, he was like, does he try to bite at your ankles? I was like, no. <laughs> I'm like, he likes to lick toes, like he would lick my toes, but he wasn't trying to nibble my ankles, he would try to like when we were being when we were playing he would try to like nibble a little bit but he wouldn't bite my ankles he's like oh yeah like that's been an issue i hired a trainer to address it i don't know why he does it so i'm thinking in my head you didn't tell me that before i had the i had to watch him you didn't tell me that he did that you know so it's like that would have been good to know thank god I'm okay like neither Aaron or myself got bit so everything worked out thank God the, the fourth God looked out for us because people really try to pass their dogs off but thank God I do have knowledge on how to train dogs but I do want to get official dog training so I was looking into some classes actually Petco Petco has dog training classes, which I didn't even know, but they do. So I think I'm going to look into some dog training classes from Petco. The only thing though, it looks like they're the type of classes where you have to actually have a dog. I, I don't have a dog. So I want to do dog training classes without a pet so that when I do take in pets, I'm able to train them. I know how they communicate and everything like that. 
So I, I gotta look into classes I can take where I don't have a dog. I'm just relaxing right now. I'm still pet sitting Boo at the apartment. So I dropped by there earlier after church and cleaned up a little bit, scooped his litter box. I'm going back over there. I'm sleeping over with my friend tonight at that apartment. That's at eight. So I'm just gonna chill for a couple of hours and just relax. It's, it's hard for me to just be idle and not do anything, but <laughs> I need to think about content that I wanna make for this week for my socials. Yeah. I'm supposed to have this really important nonprofit meeting on Tuesday, but I don't know if that's happening. They're doing a total rebrand, like from the ground up. I told them that I was going to focus on their social media page, and then I have a colleague who I wanted to t partner with to do their total rebrand, but he hasn't been getting back to me, so I don't think that's happening. I've been hitting him up, hitting him up, like, hey, can you come in on the meeting on Tuesday? I don't know what he's doing, so we'll, I don't know. I'm trying not to think about it. But I do want to write out some type of schedule for next week so that I'm on my stuff. I'm getting my hair done. My hair is so dirty, y'all. It's so dirty, man. Like, I'm, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> My hair is dirty. I ain't been eating well these last few days. Y'all saw. I've been drinking. Ugh. And then tomorrow, y'all, we are back in the gym. We are back in the gym. Thank you, Jesus. I ain't been in the gym in a whole week. My period finally came. My cramps have chilled out. And I just feel like my face is looking fuller again. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to lose this weight, y'all. I'm ready to be fine, fine. I'm fine now. Like, I'm fine. I'm beautiful. Amen. But I'm ready to be, like, top, top notch fine. Like, I'm ready for that. <sighs> what do y'all, how do y'all handle this? So, I don't want to just say, oh, I'm not going to go out with friends because... Sorry, let me close this door because my husband, he talked loud. Excuse him. I feel like he's still being loud. How do y'all handle this? Because I don't want to just give up going out with friends and getting, you know, because like I don't really drink like that. I'm not a big drinker. But obviously, like when you go out to different spots, different restaurants, like everyone's drinking. So how do y'all deal with like when you go out and there's there's bad food, there's drinks, how do you not eat bad because it's hard. Like I really want to lose this weight and the way that I've lost weight in the past, I just don't do stuff like that. Like I don't go out. I cook everything. And I don't mind doing that, but I'm like I still want to be able to like enjoy friendships. So I don't know y'all, it's, it's tough, especially as I get older, I'm like, there's less room for casual drinking, ca like eating and stuff, like that stuff be adding up way more than it did when I was younger. It doesn't take much for my body to like, you know, get off track. So any advice you can leave me, I would appreciate it. How do y'all stay healthy, stay eating healthy, and then make time to socialize without getting off track with your eating and drinking? Like, how do y'all do that? I would appreciate it. Thank you.